What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another week's episode of Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hi. <laughs> and our actual lawyer, Pridge. Good evening. Uh, if you like this show, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash save data team, usually on Wednesday nights at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. And if you want to support us, you can head over to patreon.com slash save data team, just like the wonderful people you're about to hear in this song. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bum, Les, Bandicoot Commando, Cud, Dave, Chattanavi, and Sofino, HSM, Earn, Sunayama, Antelester, Kevin, Asian, and Alucha. Shout out to Jacob Bell and A73, Elijah Slanik, Cole, and Mystic Woody. Dessert Boy Man, Jad Wap, Rick Pat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat. Alex, Frenzy, Back, Fofilla, Written Word, Arc, and Sibylla. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. And hey, folks, if you wanna, I, we, we haven't talked about it for a little bit. Oh, I opened the wrong way out. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I opened the Pokemon stream. Oh, out. yeah. We're playing Pokemon. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh, oh, my oh, fucking my. Hey, folks, what's up? Welcome to the Pokemon stream tonight. We didn't do it, Pokemon. We fucking got you. God, that's incredible. Uh, <laughs> uh, and hey, we haven't mentioned it for a little bit, but hey, it's the last week of June, last full week of June. Uh, and until the end of the month, the Save Data Team Prime Mug is going to be 10% off. Uh, go check it out. It's sold pretty well, and I think it's a fantastic piece of merch. I actually drink coffee out of it a decent amount of the time. So uh, go check it out and buy it if you want to. But let's... I consume. <laughs> let's get into the game. Gotta get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game. We also, we gotta figure out how we're gonna do this today. Cause we talked about this for like half a second before the stream started. But Phoenix is not in so much of this investigation section. <laughs> so Zach just uh, doesn't uh, talk. That's fine. Yeah, Zach, you don't get to do anything. Thanks. Actually, Zach, you know what? Just make it, make it Wes and Pridge. I'm fine with that. You're I mean, your, listen, your, your, I get the Wes experience this week. It's, or the Pridge experience this week. It's fine. I barely yeah. talk. <laughs> I, ba I, I barely have lines to but, voice. Sorry. But, but Zach, if you take on that responsibility, you have to single-handedly carry us with zingers. So are you oh, prepared for that? You are asking for way too much from me. <laughs> <laughs> also, do you think I single-handedly carry this with zingers? Because I don't. I mean, oh, you, you, Pritch, the you audience will tell you that from... yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Everyone in the chat Whenever, thinks that Pridge is the funniest member of Save Data Team, and I am not lying on that one. That's not sarcasm no, I, at all. No, and I, I won't discredit that at all. Yeah. I just say the silly things. I go, <laughs> and that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank, well, let me, thank, let me, you the, thank you all for the ego boost. Yeah. I mean, I'm not joking. Like, you are extremely funny on the show. Except, except my dad, my dad is like, Pritch is the funniest one on Ace Attorney content. And I'm like, first off, <laughs> yeah, no, and, that, and, that's the, and that's the only person I've ever actually wanted to impress. The only yeah. approval is Zach's dad. The my only mom, person I've ever cared about. If, if, if. My mom hates my fucking shirt. My dad doesn't think I'm funny. I got nothing going for me. You know, it's like... <laughs> <sighs> it's a it's a rough go of it sometimes yeah 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 <laughs> the only the, here's the thing the only thing the only downside to pridge is that when his ego is inflated it doesn't go to his head it goes to his butt okay but we are currently at date question mark time question mark and location question mark surely we're at the uh headquarters of the illuminati Ring, ring. There you go, Zach. You can be the phone. Uh, yeah. I mean, actually, there you go, Zach. You can be all the question marks. You people. know who this is. <laughs> ah, we don't know. You know it's, who I this mean, yes, is. It's, Swe it's Swedish guy. No, exactly. I know exactly it's who Miles it is. Edgeworth. 
Is it? I don't know it that. It is. Listen, we got several comments at the at last week's video that was like, yo, can y'all end the Swedish guy bit? It's fucking exhausting now. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> well, to all those people, I say, I'm going to fucking double down, bitch. Whoa. Be ready for even more Swedish guy. But it's serious. You thought that you could change me? Nobody changes Wes. I do exactly what I want to fucking do, and you can sit there and deal with it. Do you understand? God damn it. Just That's read the, read the right. line already. Yeah, oh, my God, he's still, oh my God, he's still going. Who could that be at this time of night? Beep. The exact yes. voice the phone. Yeah. <laughs> it was crucial that he was here. Yeah. We needed someone to voice the phone. <laughs> Yes, Edgeworth speaking. Edgy, get up! It's an emergency! I love the idea that Larry would call fucking Edgeworth, like, after I don't know how many years since they fucking talked to each other. <laughs> but, like, what a wild choice. Who the fuck is this? Uh, Larry, do you know what time it is? How did you get my number? Also, I, I thought I blocked you. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. I blocked you years ago. I blocked you on you everything. <laughs> ever since you stole my lunch money, you I asshole. I blocked you on Instagram, Snapchat, on Tumblr even. <laughs> you can't even do that, I don't think. <laughs> it's I'm not even Larry. Have a block feature? <laughs> it's Larice. Larice Donim. <laughs> Why is he just not? He would just. He should just hang up. Yeah. I would just hang up immediately. This is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over and. Wait! Don't hang up! It's an emergency! I like that he knew he was gonna hang up on him. <laughs> it's Nick. He. He took a really nasty spill. He fell 40 feet into a river, Larry. I don't know what I call that. A nasty spill. that as a spill. He tried to do a really. He was trying to do a really sick kickflip, and he totally beefed it. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the first time. So... Whoa! That's <laughs> He just said, I don't get fuck this shit. I'm out. Oh, God. I'm not joking. His life is in danger. What? What happened? Tell me. Oh, God. Talk about a guy with bad luck. He may already be dead. <laughs> okay, Larry. Anyway, you gotta come back. You're the only one that can help. My Iris. The beautiful Iris. She needs help. What's wrong with your eye? <laughs> Did something happen to your eye? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And why do you give your eye a gender? That's yeah. weird. That's some <laughs> Larry <Right>. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Assigning gender to things that don't need it? Ugh. <laughs> Classic right. Larry move. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I'll be there as soon as I can. First, I've got to uh, make myself look good. <laughs> wow! I can't let I'm Mike see. I can't let right, even if he's dead, see me like that. See me in <laughs> not my best. God damn it. <laughs> I've got bedhead. What if Edgeworth's bedhead makes him look just like Phoenix? He has Phoenix's good hair Lord. when he has bed, bed, bed head. Chat? That's good. Somebody draw that. Make it happen. <laughs> I'm at the detention center. Please, hurry! Beep. Beep. <laughs> Wes, that was my line! <laughs> Take this from me! It's been one year since I left that country. Which country is that? <laughs> oh. Out of four, yeah. I thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Also, is he in another country? It's going to take him a pretty long time to get there. Yeah. If he's in another, like, he has to I think I think this is supposed to be, like, in the, like, where he was during JFA. Justice for all. No, I don't want to say JFA. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Sounds like it won't be a pretty reunion. As if I expected anything to change. Emo boy. Ugh. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. You're late, Edgy! What took you so long? 
I was in a different country. I don't want to hear it. Fucker. I chartered a private jet to come as quickly as I could. Yeah, oh. he was in another country. A private jet? Yeah, dog. He's rich as shit. I understand that he's like wealthy, but like, I feel like I feel like private jet is like one percenter energy right there. Is Edgeworth? <laughs> yeah, no, Edgeworth. Edgeworth has fuck you money. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> I was blasting Rihanna and Shakira the whole way over. <laughs> Well, you should have chartered a faster one! Fair anyway, just listen! Fucking stab you. Something happened to Miss Elise, and Nick is Maya, and Iris is Bikini! Huh? I don't know who any of those people are, Larry. What the fuck? Say something, Edgy! Before I came here, I stopped in at the hospital where Wright is. I believe I have a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. Fuck yeah, Edgeworth. Dumpster. dumpster. The murder victim was the picture book author, Miss Elise Donim. She was found by Wright and the head nun. The suspect is the temple's younger nun. And later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, it broke and he fell into the river. The hospital says that he'll need at least two days of bed rest. In game time, that's at least one courtroom case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's right. You got it. But they arrested her. My sweet little Iris. So Larry being like mad that this girl that he likes is in jail and not worried about his friend who almost fucking died is like peak Oh, Larry. yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. It's peak Larry. He is a uh, bad person. <laughs> Here we go. Larry said uh, it's a bad person. And here I was convinced he was the one the police had arrested. However, I still don't understand what these two items are for. What are you talking about? They're things Wright gave to me when I was leaving his room. Power of courage and the power of wisdom. This Magatama this the... and this case of poppers. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no, not the horny kind. <laughs> The New Year's kind. Mm -hmm. you know, he gave me this hamburger and said, if Maya doesn't get this, if Maya doesn't get one of these every eight hours, oh, she no. will kill again. <laughs> and she gave, and he gave me, and there was a note attached to it that says, don't feed Maya after dark. <laughs> don't feed <laughs> her more Maya than three, to three times. <laughs> uh, Maya the gremlin is, yeah. uh, I want to see that too. It's good. This is the first. Said some nonsense about being able to see into people's hearts with this. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I don't believe in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <God damn. laughs> other... It all comes back to Kingdom Hearts. Always does. Always does. Light and darkness and darkness and light. <laughs> and the other, he couldn't possibly be asking what I think he is, could he? Very well, I accept the challenge. I will eat this cookie. Damn it, I was about to say that, yeah. Ow! Did Phoenix not explain that he wants him to serve as the defense attorney when <laughs> when he gave him the bat? Yeah, just like, what do you mean by this? Mm. He's like, this allows you to see into people's hearts. Also, here's my attorney's badge. I'm not going to explain anything about that. Just, <laughs> yeah. just hold on to it for me. You might need it, <laughs> wink. What do you mean by that, right? Uh. <laughs> I'm begging you. Iris's trial starts tomorrow. If they got the picture, you're all I've got left. You're the only one that can represent her. What did you just say? Did you say I'm all you have left? Edgeworth is first and second and last, bitch. <laughs> I'm everything. You know, represent, defend, Kingdom Hearts. What were you expecting? <laughs> what do you think I called you anyway? I'm a prosecutor, Larry. A prosecutor. That's different from a lawyer. <laughs> I don't know anything about defense law. I only know about prosecuting law. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who... Don't talk to me like a kid! I graduated from junior high, you know! Wait! You didn't graduate high school! So is he, <laughs> he has a 10th grade education? Is that what I'm to understand in, in American I mean, terms? Here's 
I mean, in at my junior high, only went up to eighth grade. So actually, no, yeah, that's right. That's that's yeah. Right. Damn. And again, it doesn't explain how far he made it into high school. So yeah. he might have a ninth, tenth, eleventh grade education, but God. yeah, no, apparently that's that's that was the end of yeah, it. Yeah, that tracks. Yeah. That tracks. Wow. Well. Don't worry about it. I promise I won't tell. Larry, get your GED. I was expecting you. I was expecting you to give us a an acronym for GED. That's uh, no, not what it really is. No, no. I mean, uh, like... great edible dumbass. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I was gonna say another yeah. word, and I was like, I can't say yeah, that word. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My inner monologue was saying, "Don't say dick, don't say dick, don't say dick." Don't say dick, don't say dick. <laughs> <sighs> but I, I mean, I heard a paper bench had no problem fooling an entire court before. How could this country's judicial system have fallen into such decay? <laughs> I appreciate the reference to last case. I do as well. He's edgy. And the idea that that became like national news, like, wow, can you believe Furio Tigre fucking tricked the entire criminal justice system <laughs> with a piece of cardboard? It's a fucking cardboard? <laughs> At least listen to her. Listen to Iris' side of the story. So Wright wasn't joking when he gave me this badge after all. He was in the <laughs> hospital. Like, <laughs> I got this. It's a sick prank. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> He's like, look over this there. Was, see, at first I thought it was funny, ha ha, but now it's more like funny. Ugh. <laughs> it's not ha ha funny anymore. It's like funny cringe. <laughs> Thank you for coming. My name is Iris. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're that one psycho lady. <laughs> I remember you. Oh, that's you should have. You're that skank who tried to kill my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, Wait, I'm, sorry. I I'm sorry, that was my idea. I'm sorry, that was my idea. Edgeworth, Edgeworth would probably be like, Wait, you look crazy familiar to Melissa Foster, aka uh, Dahlia Hawthorne, right? That's true. Uh -huh. He would probably say that. Yeah. No, he'd be like, Wait, <gasps> oh, I remember you. You're the one who got me my first victory. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. How have you been? <laughs> Did you murder somebody else and we can plan out how to get another W under my belt? <laughs> That would be sick. <laughs> Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Wow! Yeah, I mean, come on. I don't know if I can be of any help, but I will at least hear what you have to say about the murder. That you did. Um, <laughs> Mr. Wright, how, how is he? Mr. Larry said that he... That he might even die. Oh, thank God. His name's Larry. Don't call fine. him Larry. He's <laughs> fucking Larry. Larry, you moron. How could you say something like that? <laughs> His internal monologue called her a moron. <laughs> oh, he actually does. I'm like, holy shit. Wow. <laughs> I mean, Larry is a moron. Yeah. It all checks oh, out, really. God. <laughs> Fortunately, he'll be fine. Here we go. He was badly bruised when he hit the water, but otherwise he is unharmed. He landed right on his belly, and oh, oh fuck, that's that Ooh. hurt. <laughs> Owie! He's got a rash the size of Texas on his stomach. <laughs> Thank goodness. But he's caught some kind of nasty cold. Cold? He's running a high fever and is drifting in and out of consciousness. He also, for some reason, now has a sweater on that. Oh has no! A big heart on it. Not again. <laughs> I must be imagining things. Okay, he does recognize her. This woman. I feel like I've met her before. Oh, maybe he doesn't. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of remembering. Yeah. But that girl had red hair in the exact same style, and. <laughs> Clothes that were different and butterflies. <laughs> I don't see any butterflies. Different so many person. fucking butterflies. So this many butterflies. So Must be a different person. Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? 
Pardon me, Iris. I would like to ask you something, if you don't mind. I have the distinct feeling you and I have met before. It must be your imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. After all, I hardly ever leave Hazakura Temple. Hazakura Temple? What's that? It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual power come to train. You need to undergo some very difficult training to release your inner spiritual power. Spiritual power? That temple for that reason as well? No, I don't have any spiritual power. I don't need them. Whoa. I have a gun. <laughs> I have a gun that can kill ghosts. Again. <laughs> Oh, spirit gun! <laughs> oh, now she's from Yu Yu Hakusho. Yo, don't talk shit about Yu Yu Hakusho. I fucking love that show. <laughs> Yu Yu Hazakura show. show. <laughs> Fuck, I do. In that case, what are you doing at the temple then? I, I've committed some sins. Sins that I need to pay for. Whoa, it's really suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm there and. I continue to train, purify my soul. Well, I wish I could uh, ask you about a, that. <laughs> we've got a religious yeah. whack what, job over here. What's her age, actually? I'm just. What's her age at this point in the story? If it tells uh, us. Iris is twenty-five. Yeah, twenty-five. Yeah. yeah, so it's. Been, how's, that's, oh wait, is Bikini tracks. not in our court record? Yeah, that's She's fucked not. up. That's weird, huh? Yeah. Actually, wait a minute. Elise? We don't is know. Bikini actually Dick Gumshoe? Or is this or is this like Larry's? Is this is this oh, is this Edgeworth's? Edgeworth's? Is this Edgeworth's we're evidence? Edgeworth. This is Edgeworth's yeah. evidence now, yeah. And well, he hasn't he, met he, Bikini yet. But he has I mean if he has the other evidence though, doesn't he? Uh he does. Yeah, he no. has this stuff, so it's a little weird. It is weird is that like he wouldn't have Bikini, yeah. Yeah, he has agree. the profile. He has profiles of all the people he knows, but we have all the evidence. I mean, my guess is that somehow Phoenix just didn't mention Bikini, which is interesting. Yeah, yeah, people know, are, people yeah, it's, are it's saying a, to look at Phoenix and Larry's profile. Oh, okay. Edgeworth says something different about them, I guess. My friend since grade school fell from Dusky Bridge okay. and is currently hospitalized. Okay. My friends is grade school. I don't remember how we became <laughs> friends though. <laughs> That's so I don't good. remember ever being friends with this weirdo. Oh my god, Larry! How did I meet this guy again? Oh my god, get <laughs> fucked, Larry. God damn. <laughs> but like, but also don't. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to ask you about last night, the night of the the night of the crime. All right. I helped to clean up after dinner and then went back to my room at about eight. Later, I left my room to ring the light top bell at ten. Bell. Yeah, you know, like a bell. Bell. We ring it at the same time each night. I see. And then. And then. I went and murdered that girl. Ah, oh, shit. Got me again, Edgeworth. Uh, oh my god, it's the first ever got me again, Edgeworth. And Edgeworth. Whoa! Whoa. We're breaking new ground here at <laughs> Save Data Team. Just wait Come get... for new content like got me again, Edgeworth. Just, just wait until three years from now when we play the investigations games and we'll do it again. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> yes. And that will be who will be getting everyone. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll be back to Got Me Again Ryanosuke, and then we'll be get Got Me Again <laughs> Apollo. <laughs> and then there'll be some Got Me Again Athena. So, there's yeah. a whole slew of Got Me Again people. So <laughs> stick around. Don't turn that dial. We'll be right back. <laughs> I was told to go to the training hall, but I went back to my room and stayed there. Because fuck totally training. didn't do anything else suspicious yeah, at all. Yeah, that's not helpful for Forever. Why didn't you go to the training hall like you were asked to? Because I was setting the bridge on fire after I killed that woman. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I, I was frightened. Frightened? 
like a little wussy baby. <laughs> so I just stayed in my room and meditated until the murder happened. Until I did the murder. <laughs> <laughs> until the murder happened. Still. You know, when I murdered that person. <laughs> until I stayed in my room until the miracle happened. But the miracle, miracle never happened. <laughs> <laughs> so I've always been in my room. <laughs> I'm still in my room, some might say. Whoa. Whoa. That doesn't make any sense. There's, <laughs> there's more to her story. Just know there is. Maybe I should dig a little deeper. I thought, I thought for a second it was, there's more to her story. I just know there is. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I can't be. I can't be certain, and no one's really ever certain about anything. I can't. I can't be certain, but I am certain. <laughs> I think. You were asked to go to the training hall on the night of the murder. Yes. However, you didn't go because you say you were frightened. What exactly were you so frightened of? You. <laughs> the monster under my bed. <laughs> oh I yeah! I was frightened of. I was frightened of spoilers for the new season of <laughs> Stranger Things. I forgot that Edgeworth has no world? concept about. What the fuck? What the yeah. fuck is this? Whoa, 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 what whoa, whoa, whoa! Did Wright slip me some drugs? <laughs> um, is there something wrong? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm like freaking out right no. now. <laughs> Do you not see those? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> it looks like she's not aware of them herself. This must be what Wright was talking about. The Cyclox! The Psycholox! He's a Psycholox! <laughs> That's so good! <laughs> I must be a real Psycholox knot! <laughs> Is this is how is this how Wright's been beating me by using fucking magic? <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. I, he's been cheating this whole time. I'm taking all my wins back. <laughs> Undefeated again. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna start forging evidence again. <laughs> if he can use That's magic, my kind I can of forge magic. evidence. <laughs> cheating is the liar's magic. <laughs> I believe he said that I need to present this Magatama item to do something. <laughs> do something. Okay, well, we're not... Well, maybe we'll be able to do it, but we'll hear I mean, we thing. sort of have to be able to, right? I would assume so. I don't know. <laughs> I, I thought he was about to... Because usually when there's any idea, it's usually, like, ask Phoenix asking Maya what they should do. I thought he was going to be like, so, do you have any idea what I should do? <laughs> 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 um, I don't fucking know your job, maybe? <laughs> God damn. So, do you have any ideas to what really occurred that last night? I think it was the result of the tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. Okay. Do you have any idea what happened in real people terms? <laughs> Do you have an idea what happened in a way that's not total bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> spiritual power? Yes. Spiritual training has been a cause behind many great tragedies. The Hindenburg? The War oh, of 1812? No. <laughs> what Rock Lee did on 9-11? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Rock Lee was an American hero. Stop 9-11. Gara did 9-11. <laughs> How dare oh, you, Wes? Yeah. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. I thought it was because Rock Lee used too much of his tremendous spiritual power. No, and it no. Caused, no. It caused Rock catastrophic did side effects. Taijutsu can't off. melt steel beams, Wes. Yeah, Taijutsu <laughs> can't melt steel beams. That's Everyone still such a good one. That. Oh, God, that joke is so funny. <laughs> this incident was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. I'm a man of si I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual idiot. power. Uh, he really said it, huh? I read L. Ron Hubbard. Oh, Iris. Again, Scientology is not about science, Wes. <laughs> <laughs> but to Edgeworth it is. Okay. 
Our Lord and Savior Zenu will be coming for I you, Iris. This. And he will throw you into the volcano where this all of the sucks. souls of the aliens are released. We haven't even I've left the first volcano. area. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I understand. Most people don't. And I'm certain that the thing that killed the victim was a human. So please, answer me, this simple... answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Elise Donim? No. I'm not the one who took her life. But I did take her death. <laughs> hmm. Those psycho lock things aren't appearing. That's still funny to me. I suppose that means I can believe that she's not lying. Wait a minute. That's insane. Why would I believe that? <laughs> I Wait, just I found out that? about this. <laughs> Wait, I believe in magic now? Wait a minute, game designers. I Hold on a minute. I could have sworn I don't believe in magic. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> What's wrong? Sorry, I became Gengar for a second. <laughs> I can't believe what I can't believe what I'm thinking. And here I just finished saying that I don't believe in spiritual power. Hmm. It appears that's about all that you can tell me. You've exhausted your usefulness, <laughs> madam. Bye. Take her away. Thank you very much for listening to my story. I visited it right at the hospital terrible. before coming here. <laughs> <laughs> I visited right at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. Personally. Personally? <laughs> 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 this is for the bottle. We'll be having <laughs> none of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, wait, was that a nun pun? Yes. That was good. Yes. Me? Yes, at the trial tomorrow. He asked me to defend you. So, what's up with that, hmm? <laughs> what sort of relationship do you two have, hmm? <laughs> if Mr. Wright has that much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth, then I will gladly entrust my fate in your capable hands. But before that, I have one question. Yes? Do you know Wright? Uh, Biblically. Why would you ask that? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you came up in our conversation, he would begin to act a little strange. Mr. Edgeworth, are you his friend? Friend? Well, in a sense, yes. Biblically? <laughs> I'm his biblical friend. <laughs> and in the Bible, anyone who was friends, fuh. <laughs> <laughs> it was five years ago. That's when I... That's when I... Deceived him. You deceived him? I heard that he was... In a lot of pain after what happened. Because of, you know, the glass in his stomach. <laughs> I know... I know what a weak person I am. That's why... That's why I thought it was best if I never... If he never saw me again. Man, Iris, you are not helping your case at all. I wanted him to just forget about me without learning the truth. Well, if you ask me, Wright is still suffering. And until he learns the truth, I don't think he will be ever be able to truly recover. Iris, it's not too late. You should go to him. Tell him the truth. Break out of jail. <laughs> That's my advice. I'm giving you permission. <laughs> Fucking do it. <laughs> or are you a widow baby? <laughs> Too scared to break lamb. out of jail? <laughs> I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. All right, Mr. Edgeworth. I promise. Very well. I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. Oh. Fast forward. <laughs> Guilty. Ah, oh, shit. I did the opposite. <laughs> yes, I'm Warning, too used though. to being a prosecutor. <laughs> Warning. I am a prosecutor, so I am 
not usually doing this. Yeah, this is not my job. <laughs> Your Honor, the first thing I like to say is that my client is guilty, guilty, guilty. Fuck, wait. Uh, really? <laughs> uh, I mean, the opposite of that. Oh, what's what's that one called again? <laughs> what's, what's that one? I don't know that That's word. A... <laughs> my client is... No good. My client is... N- <laughs> My client is not. <laughs> God damn it! Also, did you realize that the the thing at the bottom is Edgeworth pointing and not Phoenix? Now I, I saw it. I one. saw it in the middle oh, of the yeah. thing. Yeah, and it has him like with doing his like a mad face too. Uh huh. I'm a mad boy. Mm-hmm. No one That's knows enough in- what it's <laughs> That's- like. To be a mad boy. <laughs> to be, to be a bad, bad boy. boy. <laughs> Thank you. That's uh, enough information gathering for now. Time to forge some evidence. <laughs> uh, also, Giant Penguin with a trivia time. Iris does not use a surname in the modern sense, uh, since being referred to as Sister Iris of Hazakura Temple in court proceedings. She's the only human case of this in, of this series outside of Leitner, outside of the Leitner Wright spinoff. In Japanese, she is referred to as Hazakurain Ayame, with Hazakurain uh, behaving similarly to a surname, uh, but still referring to where she lives rather than who her parents are. Interesting. Oh yeah, like almost Iris like of the Hazakurain temple. Yeah, it's almost like the game developers wanted to keep that vague. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's better than making her last name Hawthorne or yeah. Melissa Foster. Or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I'm surprised we can only go to the suspension bridge from the thing, but sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, I, don't I hope we have an... This is where I, hope we have a, I hope we have an updated map to show the burnt bridge <laughs> now. Uh, if only Edgeworth had experience with updating maps. Oh, wait. Uh, it sure is cold, all right. So this is it. Dusky Bridge. Ahem! Mr. Edgeworth! Oh, it's you. Yeah. Oh! Uh, Detective Gumshoe. Not Urk. Long time no see! <laughs> it's been about a year? Or has it been longer? I don't know. I haven't been keeping track this whole time. <laughs> it doesn't matter, Detective. What does matter is why you're shuffling around up here. Oh, ouch! And there was a sharp left jab. <laughs> well, I'm happy to see you anyway, Mr. Edgeworth. Let me guess. You were transferred into another section at work. A good choice. The vast amount of nothing up here must be quite easy to guard. Jesus! Whoa! Fucking a Whoa! man! Listen, Edgeworth, a man already almost died. You don't have to try and kill another one. Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Edgeworth is guilty! Oh my god. He's about to burn down the bridge a second time <laughs> with all this roast that's going oh on. Oh my god. <sighs> I heard you were back in the country and arranged to come all the way out here. Not like a stalker or anything. (laughs) No, totally not like that. Everybody was real nice. They even let me take charge of the investigation, sir. (laughs) I'm shoe indeed. Like gum on your shoe. It's impossible (laughs) to get rid of. Wow! I'm supposed to... uh, (laughs) That was my Edgeworth impression. I'm supposed to report on the sea on the details of the crime scene, sir. Anyway, here I am, Detective Dick Gumshoe, reporting for duty. Great. Uh, thank you, Detective. I thought Prosecutor Godot was going to be here before me. That guy's a real mystery, I tell you. Prosecutor Godot. Isn't he that guy I said was really good despite not knowing him at all? <laughs> but what if he's related to those other prosecutors, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern? <laughs> I heard they died. 
I just got back into the country, and boy, are my arms tired. So I don't really know much about the case. It's simple. Well, simple as simple does, as they say. Simple is as simple does, as they say. Oh, you've got no idea how much I miss that biting sarcasm of yours, sir. God damn it. Gumshoe is definitely a masochist in some way, shape, or form, right? Honestly, this exchange is the investigations games. It's all like, of them. It's uh, it's it's just this banter. Yeah. It's Edgeworth fucking with Gumshoe and saying kind of sarcastic mean things. things. Gumshoe's yeah, like, and him being you, like, sir, "Oh, I just love another. you, Mr. Edgeworth." <laughs> Please, and sir, that, may I have another? That's good. Yeah, that's it. That is that is the investigations games in a nutshell. <sighs> and then and then asshole people who try and make fun of Edgeworth, but Edgeworth internal monologues and it's like, wow, what a dick. And then <laughs> at the end, when the, he figures out they did it, he's like, oh, but I have a more sarcastic and shitty thing to say to you. <laughs> Seriously, this one's a piece of cake. He's a witness that saw the whole thing. A witness? Yeah, that bikini lady. That bikini lady? Oh, the kid, there we go. He's bikini so lady? Here, on this freezing cold mountain. Well, you should talk to her yourself if you want the details, sir. I don't think I will. I may have to, I may have to talk to this bikini lady. I mean, <clears throat> decisive witness myself. <laughs> Uh, really quick, some people were saying present the Magathon. Just remember your, just remember your gay, Edgeworth. Remember. Remember your gay. <laughs> uh, wrong thing. Have you ever seen this thing before? Hey, thanks a lot. I was getting kind of hungry. Please <laughs> <laughs> do not eat my steak. Oh no! <laughs> what are you doing, detective? I, I thought it was some kind of candy that would fill me up, sir. Lately, I've been feeling so hungry all the time. My God, just pay Three. Gumshoe a salary. I've been hungry for justice. Like, listen, I'm in all in favor of defunding the police, but give Edge or give Gumshoe <laughs> some fucking money. Gumsh <laughs> but don't defund Gumshoe. Oh, like, come on. Uh. uh. Maybe his salary has been cut just a little too much. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Please, Edward admits it. Yeah, this is why Chrono Wizard. That's you're correct. This is why Gumshoe started making weenie peep people weenies. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the bridge that Wright fell through. Yep, I can't imagine being that reckless myself. Look before you cross. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Look before you cross is how it goes, right? Or was that leap? Or was it leap before you cross? Or look before you go across the bridge? I don't fucking know. Not and horns. Is there something on the other side? Yeah, some old building they call the Inner Temple. The Leprechaun's Treasure, pal. So wait, you're telling me that the inner temple is on the outskirts of the premises. Is that correct, Gumshoe? Hey, listen, I don't make the names. We can't get over there without a bridge, sir. What? Nobody lives there, so it's usually not a problem. Oh, don't worry, Gumshoe. I have a private jet. <laughs> that I'll fly into the mountains. <laughs> Someone was at the inner temple doing some training, and now they're stuck there. Yes, I heard that from Wright. It's Maya Faye. He's like, <laughs> burgers. <laughs> oh no, her again. Anyway, the air's really turbulent right now, so we can't do an aerial extraction. Oh, there we go. See, there Look we go. At that. They explained it. Called it. They explained it. <laughs> If they got us. Explain why they can't take the eagles across Dusky Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing better than Lord of the Rings in yeah. this game. Yeah. <laughs> no one's going to be able to reach the end of Temple until tomorrow, sir. Will she be all right in this cold? So, how did this bridge burn down, anyway? We're almost 100% sure it was lightning. 
So it was the All Father, Odin, who did it. <laughs> lightning. Yeah, thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening. Me. Galileo. <laughs> Galileo. Galileo Figaro. Magnifico! Okay, that was actually impressive, but damn it. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. That was uh, pretty good there, was. <laughs> So, who is this Prosecutor Godot? I've never heard of him. <laughs> Even though apparently I know everybody. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a new guy. Came from hell, I guess? <laughs> Showed up after you left the country. <laughs> well, that's disconcerting. <laughs> well, he should fit right in then <laughs> with the other prosecutors. Saddy, Depressy, and Seasy. <laughs> God damn it. He's a complete rookie, but nobody can say a bad word about the guy. Come shoot. Phoenix, Phoenix is like, uh, I can say several. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a man is he? He just became a prosecutor recently, but he's good, sir. Real good. In fact, he's never won a case, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know he's good. Just like he's you, real... Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's real good. What? His record is an astounding 0-2. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if he's so good, how is it that I've never heard of him? Edgeworth, you were gone for an entire year. You faked your death and left the country. Like, fuck off. Is he the lead prosecutor on this case? <sighs> No, he's the lead prosecutor. He's dipped himself entirely in liquid lead. I don't you recommend eating him, pal. He's dead now. <laughs> After all, you know who is right in the middle of it. Voldemort? Voldemort. Shh, don't say his name, pal. I want to get over I want to get over him. <laughs> oh, God. You know who... <laughs> Phoenix Wright, of course. <laughs> for some reason, Godot has really got it in for Mr. Wright. Oh? That's another person pining after my boyfriend. <laughs> I'll kick his ass. <laughs> yeah, he seems to have some kind of a grudge. And what would be the cause of this grudge? The only one what who a gets bad to... bad breakup, I assume? The only one who gets to bully Wright is me. I don't know. I mean, and in case, and in, case in, my, and in case in my little sister, because it's fun to watch. Oh my god, this line! I love, how, I love how Gumshoe assumes that Wright is a person who would make fun of somebody's disability. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I mean, also in a post-pandemic time, like this, this line does read differently. Yeah. Yeah, Phoenix is an anti mask. He's an anti mask. <laughs> oh, Jesus funny. Christ. None of this is making any sense. I better look into this Godot myself. You're telling me the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning? It's a weird way of wording that, but sure. Yup. Last night it snowed for the first time in three days. It's a little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowfall like that. It can lightning strike during a snowfall? That's fucking weird. Yeah, I've never it, heard. Because yeah, it's, it's just precipitation. It's just the temperature yeah, makes it cold. Yeah, that's so weird. So it's cold. Again, lightning. it's well, It's very unlikely though, because again, thunderstorms are during summer because it's that, that it's hot. That, yeah. It's that hot air. So yeah. that's yet. Wait, probably somebody says thunder snow is a thing. Yeah. It's called fucking thunder snow. That is pretty cool. That's dope. It's pretty metal, actually. Somebody <laughs> somebody needs to give me thunder snow facts right now. Thunder I need to know more snow. about thunder snow. But according to the weather data, it, lightning it is, definitely it is struck. It is considered a rare and unusual phenomenon, so it can happen, but it is not. Huh? It is not likely. Wow, that's watch, so cool. Watch out, Santa. <clears throat> thunder. Spider friend. Thunder. Thunder snow. Sp oh! Spider friend, thank you so much. Just said 
Thunder Snow sounds like a warrior cat's character, it a billion percent sounds like a warrior cat. Jesus God. And nobody else on the show with me knows what a warrior cat is, but that's fine. No, uh, I'm sure Thunder I cats are. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. It's not. <laughs> <clears throat> Give me this lightning. According to the weather data, lightning definitely struck. Hmm, I see. This is a very detailed weather report. Almost too detailed. What does that mean? <laughs> Who the fuck is writing these reports? How, if they're too detailed, then how can I update them? That's that. Now that's the point. exact. It even has the exact time that the lightning struck the bridge. Oh, that? I did that. Now that you're gone, I've been the one doing all the reports. Everyone says I'm doing a real good job. I'm sure this is terrible. You're not allowed to do the reports anymore. I'm just being honest. Oh, really? I thought I was doing great. I can never let him know that his reports are so good they'll put me out of a job. Damn it. Those are my goddamn best reports I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> How does he do it? Oh, Dad? We got the information from the witness's testimony. So you're using witness testimony in an official report about the weather. Is that what you're telling me, Gumshoe? God damn it. Someone actually saw the lightning hit the bridge. Who is this witness? Sorry, I'll go ask one of the local cops later, sir. <laughs> what? That seems important. Well, let me just see what it says. Uh, 7 to approximately 10.50. Lightning struck 10 for, to approximately 11. Uh, sorry, lightning was happening from 10 to 11, but it struck the bridge at 10.45. 30 minutes passed between the fire starting and going out. Okay, there we go. Cool. That's a lot of information. That's actually pretty good. Pretty good information. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, we gotta go find that bikini lady. Ah yes, I've missed these traditional American characters. <laughs> no, Reggie! What took you so long? Motherfucker. I'm so cold my brains turned to sherbet. <laughs> he would say sherbet. Isn't that how it's spelled and supposed yeah. to be said anyway? I mean, that's how it's spelled. Sure. I don't think you're supposed to say it like that. <sighs> Chat, let me know if I'm wrong. But enough yeah, people let me know say if it's, sherbet. It's supposed to be said sorbet. Sorry. Yeah. People, more oh, people yeah, say sorbet. sorbet. Yeah, but isn't it supposed to be just sherbet and not sherbert? That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah, I'm saying there's a difference between sorbet and sherbet. Oh yeah, there is. What I'm talking about is is sherbet. Is it pronounced sherbet or sherbert? Because it's spelled sherbet. Sherbert, sherbert nerdy. nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Interesting. Okay. All right. I knew it was a mistake to race back to this country. And which country was that? <laughs> Uh, undetermined, weird, California, Asian country. What do you mean? Right is going to be fine, and the case itself isn't anything unusual. And I find myself taking a request to defend a woman accused of murder. Hey, wait a sec. Hold it. Objection. <laughs> hey, you're not, you're not allowed to right? say that. <laughs> <laughs> only, only law people can say that. <laughs> What's going on here, Mr. Edgeworth? Don't tell me you've taken on a new fun, quirky partner. <laughs> um, it's hard to explain, but one thing led to another, and... What kind of lame excuse is that? And you call yourself a defense attorney. I don't call myself a defense attorney. <laughs> Prosecutor I... Edgeworth. All right, go ahead. I very specifically don't call myself a defense attorney. <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth is a prosecutor, and that's why he's Prosecutor Edgeworth. Prosecutor Edgeworth, defense attorney, just Prosecutor Edgeworth, defense attorney, just sounds plain old weird, pal. Hey, right, Prosecutor Edgeworth. 
I'm not sure what role I'm supposed to be playing anymore. The idea of Gumshoe and Larry meeting and having a conversation just sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what's happening right now. Yeah. Dude, Edgy, I don't see you. I don't see you for a couple of years, and your heart turns to sherbet. <laughs> Stop oh. saying sherbet. I'd say more like sorbet. It is rather cold here. Wow, they did the joke. Did the Iris joke. didn't murder her. Someone else did it. I just know it, okay? So trust me on this one. Ever the romantic, aren't you, Larry? Nevertheless, I'll do whatever I can to prove her innocence. At least until I pass the baton onto right, that is. <sighs> I guess we gotta talk to this guy. I think this is like Edgeworth's theme, which is it's very it's very good. I like this. I Man, I'm telling you, Iris is so cute. Right, Edgy? You think so too, don't you? Wrong. Why are you so quiet? To put it simply, your comment has me highly concerned. Could it be that the reason you think she's innocent? Come on! A girl that cute can't possibly be a murderer! I was right after all. Never should have come back. No, no! Don't worry! I see things for how they really are this time! Honest! If I had a penny for every time he said that... I'd have $38 and however many cents that Wright was accused <laughs> of stealing from me. I'd have the exact amount of money you stole from me, you <laughs> fucking asshole. I... <laughs> I forgive, but never forget. <laughs> <laughs> the Edgeworth Elephant Association. <laughs> it's just that... Well, Iris is a delicate flower. You can't force things too much. Know what I mean? Uh-huh. I have no idea what you're talking about, Larry. Oh. Uh, uh, forget it. I didn't say anything. Cool. Larry, where were you and what were you doing on the night of the crime? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was Larry? killing that old lady. <laughs> I know, we we're about to get his breakdown spray. Larry? What? Don't tell me. You think I might have done it? Well, do you have a fucking answer for, like, you give me a fake alibi, I don't care. Just, like, calm me down, please. <laughs> what? Get lost! Go back in your charter jet and get out of my sight, you creep! <laughs> Larry, fuck you. I hope your plane crashes and you die! Larry, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Larry. Is this fucking Final Destination 1, Larry? Like, what? You know, Larry, at this point, you're still a suspect, and you just said that you <laughs> hope that I die. That's looking awful suspicious. Uh... I'll ask just one more time. On the night of the murder, where were you and what were you doing? Larry? Oh my god. As I suspected, a psycho lock. The worst thing is that it's like Larry is probably painting like a nude picture of Iris or some shit. Like, yeah, oh he's probably god. like peeping on her or something <laughs> stupid. He's like waiting in the bathroom for her to show up. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, his his face was in the toilet. Am I wrong? Oh my god! <laughs> he's a little trash boy. I'm sorry, man. You know me, I just don't remember. My short-term memory is a wreck, dude. God fucking damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see what he says about the attorney's match. To think of it, when you were a kid, you were always saying, When I grow up, I want to be a lawyer and defend people, or something like that. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Before my tattoo died. 
See, now you've got the chance to follow your boyhood dreams for a day. Larry, that's not how it works. Edgy, you gotta do it. You gotta save my little Iris. The more you say that, the less I want to do it. <laughs> uh, this is exactly why I hate childhood friends. Damn. Damn. Uh, let's keep moving and just see what else they have for us.